What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Barnetta and as you can see the light is quickly fading in here but I didn't want to wait to make this video because I just felt really inspired and I feel like since it's become summertime I've just been so busy with traveling, going to events for my brother's wedding, and just general summer things that I just have not made as much content as I've been wanting to. So now that things are slowing down just a little, I didn't want to just, you know, rest on my laurels and not make content because of unideal lighting situations. So today I'm going to be showing you how I'm organizing and beginning to clean out my pantry. Granted, my pantry really isn't that big, so if you are someone who has a very large pantry, I can only give you a few tips for just general organization. Unfortunately, I don't have a huge walk-in one, so I don't have all of those kinds of tips, but you could probably get a few ideas from me uh, just from watching this video. And if you have a small apartment, this will probably be really helpful for you. Uh, but anyway, let's get right into it. So the next shot you'll see is my pantry. Okay guys, we're at my pantry. My main one is right behind me. I do have a second one right up there, but we're gonna focus on this one for now because I'm still working through that one. Whereas I have gotten a few things put in place in this one, it is a little messy right now. So this is gonna be kind of a clean out video too. And now let's get right into it. I'll show you. Oh! Females come to visit us. I love you. Bye bye. So let's get right into it. Bimo has decided to grace us with her presence. She'll be my cleaning partner or she'll probably jump up onto the shelves right up there. She loves being up there. But let's get started. Alrighty, so here is the moment of truth. The first impression of my pantry as it lives right now. And you can see that I've started to transfer some food into quart-sized mason jars. That is my first tip for organizing a small pantry, or really any pantry, and I think it's not necessarily a new novel idea, but I feel like most people don't take the time to transfer their dry foods into mason jars. It just looks so much cleaner, and what I really love, and I've said this a million times on my channel, is just how clear packaging allows you to have the illusion of more space, and I think mason jars are like the epitome of storage for that idea. One thing to note though, you guys, is that mason jars a lot of times are not cheaper at the thrift store, so do not fall for that. I've noticed as I'm at the thrift store that mason jars like this will go for about $2 on average, and that's just really overpriced. Maybe where you are they're cheaper, but where I am they're not, and I got a whole uh, case of 12 for about 10 bucks, and, and that was at Walmart, so I highly recommend uh, just going for brand new ones rather than uh, used ones unless they're given to you. But anyways, let's get to clearing out some of this stuff. I'm not going to throw away everything, but uh, this is definitely going to be transferred into some mason jars. Uh, oh, okay, that's empty, so that's going to be recycled. These chips are going to be... Uh, probably put into their own container because I think that, yep, this is an awesome sealed airtight container uh, that we purchased and it keeps chips forever, but these are kind of just scraps, so I'll just clean it out and put these in there. Uh, I'm going to just bring any uh, random items that I can't put in a jar towards the front so I don't forget about them. Oh, uh, no, I'm trying to see if there's any sneaky food. Ah! Here we go. This is jammed into the corner. So these are walnuts and there's not many left. So I'm probably just going to get rid of these. Probably kind of old. And oh, okay. So these are water uh, filter filters. We recently bought this Brita Pure filter and it is seriously so amazing. It allows us to not have so many cans and bottles lying around. And additionally, it saves us a lot of money because you're not purchasing jugs of water all the time and I think that's just you know so much better for the environment and for our wallets obviously so these do not belong in our pantry I don't think so I will find a home for them that's another thing guys if you're not new to my channel you've heard me say this a million times but if you are new if you find something in an area where it shouldn't be living go and find it a new space to live in your home because that'll help you stay more organized uh, another thing I see up here that I want to get rid of is this box of cereal. Guys, when I saw a cereal version of Thin Mints, we really had to try it, but at the same time, we're really trying to eat healthier and avoid processed things and high sugary things like this, so I'm just gonna, you know, toss out the rest and recycle the box and not impulse buy as much in the future. We'll see what happens. 
And then I have this popcorn that's pretty old, so I'm gonna just, you know, get rid of that and toss it. Also, cleaning, organizing tip 101 is always just get rid of the excess, the stuff you don't need, whatever. It'll just make things so much easier looking at a clean slate. I feel like that's pretty obvious. But sometimes I think that people can get pretty overwhelmed when they declutter or organize and I always just say start with the things that you really don't like or care about and you'll feel so much more confident from there. Start little and work your way up to the harder stuff. You'll notice that I don't have any labels on my mason jars. I was just so excited to get these in here and make this space look better because it looked way, way worse before. I probably, you know what, I'll show you this one so you can see kind of how disorganized it was because this one's still pretty bad. Yeah, so see like all these like, bags and you know, just kind of things thrown in there. No rhyme or reason. This is what I'm trying to avoid and get away from, and I feel like I'm getting really close with this organization process, but I'm not perfect yet with it, and I say this all the time on my channel. One thing at a time, you figure it out as long as you go. I've just always been a slightly messy person, and I am evolving into a more organized person. What I was saying earlier is that I don't have any labels on here, and that's not the smartest way to go about putting your things in mason jars because expiration dates are very, very important. But what I did, since I was just super excited and didn't have labels, I just snapped photos of expiration dates and directions for everything so I could get back to them later and then put labels on in a later time. Any of you guys sort your food like this and you have go-to labels or a label printer or something to recommend how you keep track of expiration dates and whatever for your food storage, let me know in the comment section down below because I need all the help I can get. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really liking the way this is looking. I don't think I have any other sneaky food, like I said. Let me see if I can get this baking soda down here. Okay. Oh, what's that? It's a coupon. It's good still. Put that with my uh, filters right there. So now I'm just gonna take care of this stuff and then I'll show you guys how it looks after I move some items around, get things a little more organized looking and get all these things in their rightful place. Okay, so here is the final version. What I am trying to do... Oh! Hi, Bimo! How's it going? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so anyway, here's the final view. What I'm trying to do is just keep things in nice straight lines. As you can see, I did get some smaller mason jars too. Again, these were about the same price as the larger ones. Right around $10, maybe a little less for the smaller ones. Can't remember, but again, cheaper than if you were to go to Goodwill. Um, like I said, I'm trying to keep all of the items right in neat rows. And what I'm doing with those rows is putting similar foods together. So I have lentils back there. There. I have my black beans right here. Anything that's like nuts is here, oats, and then this is for grains right over here. And I put those chips into that clear container and it looks great. I have all of my dry ingredients right here. And then anything that's a canned good over here. I have a lot of like tomato stuff right here, pumpkin spice. I'm actually thinking about doing a tutorial on how to make some really yummy oat uh, breakfast bites with pumpkin in them for fall and then I have like a random ramen thing here probably not super healthy but they are good so I will keep that and then again that baking soda just up there chilling because I don't have any anywhere else to put it let me know what you guys think down below and if you have any other organization tips to share please share them down in the comments section so there you have it guys my pantry is now nice and organized and Mimo is super happy about that I think she is hanging out right up there in her little box which is so cute it's actually the box that I bought the mason jars in so that's adorable <laughs> but anyway thank you again for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already and remember until the next time that there is no one like you you are loved and you are beautiful inside and out I will see you later bye